I've been running custom firmware on my Flipper Zero for a few months now, and it's been awesome. If you're a Flipper Power user, you probably have the Wi-Fi dev board or maybe a Pico W hooked up to your device. You've seen the potential of giving this little gadget an internet connection, but you've also felt the pain. The biggest problem has always been that you can't see what's going on. If there's an issue, if it says your Wi-Fi is disconnected, if you can't connect to your Wi-Fi, you had no clue. That basic lack of control and feedback was the missing piece. Until now. Introducing the new Flipper HTTP companion app. This is the app that fixes all of that. It's the dashboard we've all been waiting for. Released just yesterday, the Flipper HTTP app is the official companion app for the Flipper HTTP firmware. And it's more than just an app, it's the key that unlocks the true untethered power of a Wi-Fi connected Flipper Zero. Now, I didn't leave a ton of details in the description, so let me tell you what it does before we check it out ourselves. It gives you a complete on-device Wi-Fi management. The app has three main features that solve all the frustrations I just talked about. First, and this is the big one, you get to see what's actually happening with your connection in real time. When you open the app, you can see what SSID you're on, if you're connected, and the IP address your flipper is using. That alone is a huge deal. No more guessing, no more logging into your router from a laptop to see if you're connected. You know your status right away, right on the flipper screen. Second, it has a built-in Wi-Fi scanner, almost like Flip Wi-Fi. Now, this is massive. Instead of messing with text files, you can just scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks straight from the flipper. And then from a list, you can scroll and select the one you want to use and then type in the password to immediately connect to that network. It's simple, fast, and how it should have worked from the start. And lastly, it makes managing your connections and passwords super easy. Once you connect to a network, the app saves the info and it's used in all of the other Flipper HTTP apps. So if you're using Flip Downloader to download apps, Flip Social to chat, or Flip World to play a game, your Wi-Fi is already set up. You set it once and it just works everywhere else. That smooth integration is what makes it feel so polished and complete. All right, enough talking. Let me show you how to get this all working. It's super straightforward. First things first, you need the right gear. This all runs on a Flipper Zero with a connected ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico, or the BW16 device. The critical first step is flashing this board with my Flipper HTTP firmware. Now, the process is extremely simple. You go to my GitHub, you grab three specific files, and then you add them to your Flipper Zero using QFlipper. And then after that, you use the ESP Flasher app to flash the files to your board. It's extremely simple and only takes about 30 seconds. Here's firmware A, flash fast. Once your board is flashed, you're ready for the good part. Now for the app. The easiest way to get the Flipper HTTP app is from the official Flipper app store through the mobile app or the web. Just search Flipper HTTP and install it straight to your Flipper. Then once it's installed, we can run it. Head over to your apps, go to GPIO, and you'll find the Flipper HTTP app. Now open the settings and fill in your Wi-Fi SSID and your Wi-Fi password. The username and user password are for your credentials into FlipMap, FlipSocial, FlipWorld, and Free Roam. So make sure to choose a username that's unique and interesting and a unique password as well. Now let's go back, go up and click run, and here we are. Since you already filled in your credentials, go over and click connect, and this will connect to your Wi-Fi network. 
And just like that, we're good to go. Click back, go back and click on status. And here we are. It tells us that we're connected. It tells us the SSID that we're connected to and we have our local IP address. Let's go back and now let's go over to scan. Here it will scan for networks nearby and then list them in a menu style. We can find a network, select it, type in the password directly, and then once we hit done, it will connect to that network. Now check this out. If we back out of the apps and open any of the other Flipper HTTP apps like Flip Social, we are already connected to the internet. It uses the exact same network we just set up. You don't have to do anything else. That's the seamless integration I was talking about. It just works. The Flipper HTTP app isn't just a one trick pony. It's the front door to a whole growing world of internet powered Flipper apps. By giving you a stable, easy way to manage your internet connection, it lays the groundwork for so much more. Think about it, we have an app like Flipmap which helps you find Flipper Zero users around the world. There's Flip Downloader which lets you browse and install new Flipper apps over Wi-Fi, no PC needed. And there are 12 more Flipper HTTP apps that you can explore. All these apps depend on the Flipper HTTP library to work, and the Flipper HTTP app is what holds it all together. It's the central hub for your Flipper's internet connection. By fixing that fundamental problem of Wi-Fi management, it makes all these apps more reliable and way more fun to use. It turns the Wi-Fi dev board from a niche tool for pen testing into a real gateway to the internet, opening the door for a whole new class of apps. This isn't just about fixing one problem, it's one app making the entire platform better for everyone. So yeah, that's why the new Flipper HTTP companion app is the missing piece for my custom firmware Flipper HTTP. It takes the raw power of Wi-Fi connection and makes it easy to use. It's reliable and genuinely practical. It finally closes the gap between powerful hardware and great user experience. It's a small app, but it makes a huge difference for troubleshooting Flipper HTTP. If you have a Wi-Fi dev board and you have Flipper HTTP installed, download the new companion app because it is a must have. So what do you think? Have you been struggling with Wi-Fi on your Flipper? Let me know down in the comments what your experience has been. And of course, if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more Flipper Zero content. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.